The first thing you'll need to do is get to our 3D printing webpage. You can find this URL in the video description, or you can just write marriottlibrary.com 3D. Once you're here, you'll click Submit a 3D Print Job, log in with your UID and password, and that'll take you to our 3D print submission form. Here there's two links. You'll open the Prusa Slicer download page in a new tab, and then go ahead and download our configuration bundle. If Chrome asks, you'll want to keep this file. Here on Prusa's website, you'll scroll down and select the appropriate installer. I have already installed Prusa Slicer, but you would just go through the normal installation process here. Once Prusa Slicer is open, you want to make sure to hit Cancel. Then you'll go to File, Import, Import Config Bundle, and install the configuration bundle we downloaded earlier. You should see all the Marriott Libraries printers have been added. Now I'm going to add my parts, space them out with the Arrange tool, and then I'm going to set this piece flat. All right, I'm going to slice to get a preview. And you can grab this guy and scroll through layer by layer to see what your print is going to look like. I always check the first layer because it is important that your prints are flat on the print bed. Now I designed these parts so I know that I don't want support in these small holes. They should print just fine without support material. I also know that these bridges will print just fine. Our printers do a good job of spanning short gaps like this without any need for support material. To turn off these features, I'm going to go to Expert, and then right click on this guy, Support Material, and I'll just turn off Support Material for the whole part. For this piece, I'm going to use the Paint on Supports feature and select the areas where I don't want support material to be generated. All right, let's see how it looks. I'm happy with that. It will show you an estimated weight, cost, and time over here in the corner. And that looks good to me, so I'm going to export my G-code. Now that we have G-code, we'll come on back to this form here and fill it out. Make sure to check all the boxes that apply. Make sure to let us know which printer you are slicing for. And don't forget to check the tax-exempt box if you're using tax-exempt funding. Add any useful information in the comments and print description box. Some professors will have you write in a class number or even a team number. Once you've filled this out, you'll add your G-code to the ticket and click Submit. As long as we have Prusas available, your print should be started automatically. You should receive a notification when your print is started, when it's time to pay, and when your part is ready for pickup. Most of our users end up paying online with a credit or debit card through the Marriott Library's website, but some tax-exempt funding can be charged differently. Once it's time to pick up your 3D print, you'll find us on the second floor of the Marriott Library. If you're coming in the west entrance, once you go up the stairs to the second floor, you should see the Protospace office and your part nearby. If you do have any questions, don't be afraid to email us. We can help you slice your parts over Zoom and answer any other questions you might have.